Aloha all, Paper Mario Guy here, and welcome to my next Let's Play. A Let's Play of what I consider to be the greatest game ever created. Today, I'm going to tell the story of Star Spirits and Good Wishes. Far, far away beyond the sky, way above the clouds, it's been said that there's a haven where the stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered star spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully. Very carefully. And then... Oh dear. What the? Who stuck that weird thing into this story? Ha ha ha, yeah I did. <laughs> so I can at long last beat my arch enemy, Mario. I'll take this star rod. Do it, Kami Koopa! No, you mustn't do that! Yeah, now let's try using it! Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! You're changing the story! <laughs> we did it! That was a piece of cake! <laughs> Now star kids may rise to the haven to deliver people's wishes, but those wishes will not come true. Whatever can they do? Welcome everybody to Let's Play Paper Mario. So, uh, as you can see, there's been some, uh, playtime on this, uh, file, yeah, on this cartridge. This was my very first original playthrough. Um, the time used to be 59.59 uh, before I decided to play through it and save a little bit. I don't know why. Uh, and then these two files. This is a this was a practice, and this was my brother uh, and his friend. But file one is brand new. You know, nothing. It has not been touched, so we can jump right into it. So I think. We are going to, uh, just name my, myself what, you know, what I normally am called by people, you know, in the real world. My name is Steven, so that's what I will put in, because I doubt Paper Mario Guy would fit, and that would look a little silly. So, Steven it is, not in all caps, and we can go into our first play, so let's go to it. Mail call. It's Luigi. Hello, Luigi. Hey, Mario, we got a letter from Princess Peach. I'll read it to you, okay? All right, let's see. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from different towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. A letter of royalty. And so Mario and Luigi, never to deny a party set out to go to Princess Peach's palace, her kingdom, or castle, whatever you want to call it. And we travel through what is going to wind up being the main area of the game, uh, which we will get to a little bit later, through this wonderful star door. And thus far, we have not been able to have 
control of a character yet, but that will all change very soon. Ugh. So, uh, now this is the first time that you can actually get uh, control of Mario in this uh, wonderful castle, which we'll be seeing a lot of um, later in the game. But uh, the controls are pretty simple. A is jump, uh, B will do something later. If you press Z, you can do this little spin dash, and uh, the C buttons will get into later. If you press up, you can see your stats, but we don't really have any stats. So, um, in the beginning, there's really not much to do. You could talk to a lot of these toads, uh, but they won't really say much. Um, nothing of real importance. Um, although you will recognize some of these characters uh, later on. Um, because they have, you know, some, some significance. But as of right now, none of these doors are really all that important, and we don't really have to work with them. Uh, but here we go with a penguin. Wow, this castle is absolutely breathtaking. I wish I could stay here at Peach's Castle forever. Well, you can't. Go get a job. Ro rent yourself a one-bedroom apartment. And, uh, you know, start living a real life, Mr. Penguin. So this is uh, the second room. This is where most of the uh, guests are. And if you talk to all these guests, which I actually have before, um, you can find out some interesting thing, and you can see, you know, where these people are from, and kind of get a little foreshadowing of some of the areas that we need to go to later in the game. Greeting, Mario. I am the prin minister of Princess Peace's castle. You're good. Uh, it's good to see you here. When you're around, I feel like our kingdom is secure. Yep, our future looks bright. Look at his nice robe. Um, the one thing that I will say about this room, um, if you talk to this toad, he's saying that you can't get into Princess Peach's room, and he, you know, you ask him over and over again, and eventually, after, uh, like five tries, I believe it is, uh, he'll move aside, and we can get into Princess Peach's room, and we can kind of maneuver around and do whatever we want, and you can check the various different places in P Princess Peach's room, and I figured uh, that was pretty interesting, um, that not a lot of people you know, actually know about, uh, at least from what I know. Not a lot of people know that if you talk to that toad after a while. And he says that he's never seen it, but we have Koopa Troopas and penguins and toads and mice, all these different characters coexisting peacefully in the wonderful world of Mario. And that's A-OK -okay with me, because, you know, as much as I love a good adventure, it's nice to finally relax and not have to worry about Bowser or, you know, any of these people. Oh, Mario! You came to the party to see me! You're so sweet! Thank you! I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us up here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? I think you're going to be doing a little bit more than chatting if Mario gets his way. I will accompany you. Random earthquake is random? I do believe so. Oh, well, that's not an earthquake. That's a castle. That's a Koopa clown car capsule. Castle, not capsule. Yes, that's... You're doing a lot, Mario. You're really preventing the castle from being... brought into the air. Peach, too. Doing a lot. I don't know what that was, Peach. I'm, I'm right here with you. How would I know? This is just one big prank. <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser. Well, he broke your window for one, Peach. This castle's under my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Oh, but Mario, he's just too brave to let that happen. Oh, what a shock. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Haven't you learned no your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? <laughs> true, true. I have had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time I'm gonna win. Okay, tough guy. Let's go. 
a little shaky on my voices there, kind of switching it up for whatever. Mario, you can do it! So, uh, we have some action commands, and th now is really not the best time to get into the battle system, uh, as it will develop and progress later. Uh, but, uh, the battle system is pretty interesting in here. But for now, all we can do is jump. Jump on Bowser's head and do one damage, which is pitiful. But, we're pretty much on par with Bowser at this point. You know, he's doing one, we're doing one, and we attacked first, so... At this rate, we're gonna win. <laughs> Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Starhaven. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. I think I've settled on a voice for Bowser now. Bowser is quite badass in this game, I have to say. He's awesome and evil. <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? And all of a sudden, he beasts himself up, gives himself a little buffer, and now he does three damage, so we're kind of lacking behind. Especially with the fact that we can't attack him at all. <laughs> is that all of you got? How sad! You'd best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. And he slaps us in the face again. Man, that slap, that that's a devastating slap. Three attack. Yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. And with a giant fire breath, Bowser just does ten damage and takes us out like we're nothing. Bowser really has reinvented himself, giving himself a new image, like YoshiFan051. Oh no, Mario, get up! Yes! Oh yeah, I did it! I finally did it! I beat my old rival, Mario. Yes! Congratulations, your victory! Your viciousness, that's why you're the king! As long as I have the Star Rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. And with a lightning bolt from the sky, Mario is ejected forcefully from both Peach's and Bowser's castle. Oh no, Mario! And Bowser and Cami Koopa sit there together, enjoying a hearty laugh as Mario falls presumably to his death. What a grim opening for the beginning of Paper Mario. And with that, we get the glorious opening cutscene. And now we will be moving on to the prologue, but that, my friends, will be for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed the introduction episode of Paper Mario, my favorite game of all time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, I would appreciate it, and uh, listen to this wonderful remix of the classic Mario Brothers music. So stay tuned for... Uh, the rest of Paper Mario and the, the beginning of the prologue. Uh, I hope this is going to be my greatest Let's Play to date. I hope to do my favorite game justice. And uh, I will hopefully see you in the next episode. So until then, I'm Paper Mario Guy of the Koopa Ninja Bros. Thank you very much for watching, and see you then.